There's a party in my city, yeah. <laughs> Y'all like the thumbnail, bro? <laughs> How NBA players spend their first check, a.k.a. What bills they paying on their first check? And get to the video. This is how most NBA players spend their first check. That thing nasty, bro. And Tyler Hero used his first check on a six-figure shopping spree. Copping a custom 25-carat diamond chain. Hey, I ain't gonna pause out the video, y'all, but I'm put y'all some game, bro. All right, cuz, listen. I got some real diamonds. I, I bought like a couple years ago, whatever it is. You know, I went through my whole little stage, whatever. You know, I pay a lot of bills, have some excess, whatever it is. I regret having the diamonds. Now that I educate myself on Marzenite diamonds, y'all, and lab grown VVS, I'm putting y'all some game right now, bro. You're going to feel so much different about going to these big old ice box and things like this, these, these jeweler retailers. And buying this real jury. Marzenite hits better than VVS. And guess what? And it passed the diamond test. While a lab grown VVS diamond look identical to a real VVS diamond that is grown naturally, but it's a game. But it don't pass the diamond test. But it's cheaper. But it hit the same. Man, the game, bro, listen, y'all, the whole diamond game is whole messed up, bro. I'm, I'm sticking to straight gold and, like, all I'm buying now is playing Jane Watches. Like, I'm just... 55000 spending $100,000 in designer clothes, and most importantly, buying himself his dream car. A brand new 2020 Mercedes S63 AMG. A, ooh, and this thing wasn't ooh. cheap, because it cost Tyler over $200,000. Ooh, it look like that Maybach rims and the Maybach rims. That thing look nasty. Our boy balled out. Sometimes, spending your first check can go horribly wrong. Hey, Tyler Hero, one of them white dudes that can come to the black people barbecue, you know, and have to tap up and everything, man, you know, and even, you know. Just keeping it real. Gilbert Arenas, <laughs> his first check made him go homeless. In 2001, 19 year old Gilbert was convinced he'd go top 10 in the NBA draft. And in his mind, he was going to sign a rookie deal worth at least 3.3 million. So a few months before the draft, Gilbert took out a $400,000 loan and balled out. But you think you're going to go top 10? Like, shit, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking millions, you know. So I had Escalade, had five TVs in it, four 12s, had the suede. I seen Gary Payne with suede. Man, hey, on top of give it a reason was shooting them you know, so long threes before that. Stephen Curry was shooting yeah. them things Gilbert consistently, y'all. Really that ball was the but bucket. Draft tryouts, you ruined everything. And that Wizards give it a reason was nasty, y'all. part in mandatory Man. workouts. But he also made sure to tell every NBA and I never forget when LeBron told that boy at the free throw line to play y'all's. That boy voted team that is lifelong dream respect for him, though. was to be an international pimp. <sighs> yes, he really said that. And of course, NBA scouts were not amused. So instead of going top ten, his ass fell all the way to the second round, signing for three hundred and thirty thousand his first year. That's seventy thousand less than what he owed. This man was broke, broke. I couldn't even drive back and forth to the arena. Yeah. So I had to stay at the arena sometimes. You slept in the I arena. I slept in the arena. A professional wow. NBA player I slept in the so arena. sleep was basically home. So basically, take yeah. me back to the park yeah, games. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically home. <laughs> That's right. But, but I just couldn't afford the gas. When they did my budget, I can only spend $500 a month. What? It's like me at Walmart. Gas, my gas money, girlfriend, two dogs. Like, I, I don't, I don't right. have any really money. Shit, it make you want to go to Pippin then. To get some bread. If anything, they they, they, <laughs> they will push you to go be a pimp, dog. Come on, man. Ah, right, you should have said be a player. Cause a player outside the basketball court being a player. I oh, don't no, talk too much, y'all. I mean, you got bread, you can take care of, you know, all, 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 all your women. But pimping, you get money from the women, bro. Oh, man. Damn, Gilbert really fumbled the bag. But not as bad as LaMelo Ball, because the way Melo spent his first check is getting him sued for millions. What? Yeah. 
In 2019, right after graduating high school, LaMelo hired publicist Amber Johnson to find him some big money brand deals, promising her 10% of the profits. And over the next few weeks, she went to work, pitching a LaMelo documentary to Fox, landing him a sponsorship on Caffeine TV, and most importantly, negotiating LaMelo's biggest offer yet, a deal with Puma worth $10 million. 10% that, that's a whole meal right there, huh, y'all? Oddly enough, when LaMelo heard about the offer, he told his publicist to decline and end negotiations immediately. Whoa! So, Amber canceled the deal and never spoke to Puma again. But in 2020, something suspicious happened. A month before the NBA draft, it was announced that Melo had signed his first big contract, a $100 million endorsement deal with none other than Puma. And after securing the bag, LaMelo spent big, Copping a $276,000 for Rob. Red bottles for Wally. The net, the net, that's about a good hundred right here, man. We ain't looking at the left wrist, man. Purple jean powder, man. Oh, man. The jacket, man. Oh, my God. The, the, got, he got the Kodak color scheme going on when, when, the, when the, the, the jacket in the shoe match the color of the whip. That's how you know you got money, y'all. That's how you know you're paying bills, bro. You know what I mean? When your jackets and clothing can match your whip, whip. Ferrari F8 Bills are paid, man. A million dollar Richard Mill. And oh my a two point six million dollar condo in the heart of Charlotte. Mello was dropping money on everything. Well, get that Duke Dennis VVS going on in the mall. Who claims? Hey, look, look, check it out here. This VVS, right? Mars and Night. Put your skate, Mars and Night Diamonds will hit harder than this. Huh. As good as right here looks, as good as Duke Dennis grill looks, y'all, a Mars and Night VVS will look better than the original VVS. It's, it's made a whole diamond game fest. It messed up, y'all. It, it's. It, man. I wish I educated myself back then, y'all. I, I, oh, man. Oh. Everything except his publicist, who claims she didn't receive a dime from LaMelo. Not for the caffeine deal, not for the documentary, and not for the Puma deal. So in January of 2022, she decided to sue LaMelo for $10 million. And our boy Melo is still battling it out in court to this day. But look, not every NBA player blows their first bag on them. I ain't gonna lie to you, LaMelo. I, I, I would've done the exact same thing, man. I got bills to pay too, man. We 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 had a little negotiating deal, bro. You know, I love you and everything, man. You know, when I get the podcast, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story before before Lamelo had all the money, bro. When we 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 played after the game, he looked at my small gold chain. I told him something, bro, and, and it happened. Look, man, just Lamelo, you watching the video? You know what you had, what we, we talked about, bro. And I said, uh, we talk about the podcast, man. Love seeing that boy winning, bro. But yeah, man, I, I would have took you guys to court too. Yeah, bills gonna get paid. So, cause Zion Williamson spent his first check saving thousands of families from disaster. See, in March of 2020, during Zion's rookie season, COVID forced the NBA to shut down entirely, leaving tens of thousands of arena workers without jobs. Overnight, people living paycheck to paycheck had their income ripped away, and with no other jobs available, they were left feeling hopeless. The saying life can change in an instant, is as true as he gets. So with people desperate for help, Thanks. rookie Zion pulled through and changed lives, saying, a mother has always set an example for me about being respectful to others. So today, I'm pledging to cover the salaries for all Smoothie King Center workers Damn. for the next 30 days. Yeah, that means Zion donated at least $300,000, all from his first check. Damn, I mean, Zion knows he how had to do that. his money. He had to do that. He could have went to Krispy Kreme and got donuts, y'all. The kid have went got some Zatter and Gumbo right down the street, bro, New Orleans. Respect, man. I think Steve went got that Zatter and Donut and the donut thing going on. But hey, that's that, that's respect, man. Real talk, bro. He needs to teach other NBA players. I can't wait to see him hoop again, man. We're going to one coming up are on another level. That's a nice edit right there, rebound. But before we get to that, we got to talk about Kelly Oubre. Because this dude is being blackmailed for millions, all because of his first check. See, in 2015, right after signing his rookie contract, Kelly went out and dropped $12,000 on two new puppies. 
saint, and soul. And over the next few years, he built an unbreakable bond with his dogs, even taking them on the road for away games. But in 2019, something terrible happened. After an ugly breakup, Kelly's ex-girlfriend went psycho, refusing to leave his house, slashing his tires, and worst of all, kidnapping his dogs. And this woman was out of her mind, but to be honest, for a pretty good reason. It turns out his ex went completely psycho because Kelly never dropped a like. Oh, you got me! God damn it, Reba! Oh, you got me, dog! Oh! Boy, you good, you smooth, boy! Boy, look here, man. I gotta watch, I gotta watch off for you, bro. Oh, he's good, y'all. I'm thinking like he got caught cheating or something like that, you know what I mean? Got caught, you know, taking her eyeliner. But it do look majestic, bro, you know? No homo sapien, bro. Get subscribed to the channel. Yeah, that's right. I got this crazy chick on speed dial. And if you ain't subbed, then she's gonna steal your pets and eat them. Trust me, dog. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> so just go ahead and subscribe, okay? But anyways, Kelly You're was good, heartbroken. Bro. So he that called the good. cops and even filed a lawsuit, desperately trying to get his dogs back. But somehow, she was able to keep custody of Saint and Soul. And it seemed like Kelly's situation couldn't get any worse. Until... January of 2021, when Kelly's ex allegedly threatened to keep Saint and Soul unless he paid her three million dollars. Bye! They're yours! Full custody! I'm about to go purchase me some more! I can get about 12 of them tanks, man! Dog! What's their names again? Woo! Oh, they. So Kelly filed another lawsuit claiming he was being blackmailed, and he's still fighting for his dogs back. Man, the dog, leave the dogs alone, bro. It's not worth the dog. Leave them dogs. Hey, bro, I, I love dogs, bro. You know, I do that myself. Dog, leave the dogs alone, man. Hey, man, go buy some other dogs, man. Oh no, nah, bro. Oh, three girl. Act to this day, man. I just feel bad for Kelly, but who I don't feel bad for is LeBron, cause this dude turned his first check into millions of, wait, no, billions of dollars. Back in 2003, just a month before the NBA draft, 18-year-old LeBron signed his first big contract, a deal with Nike worth $90 million. And with that kind of money, you'd think a teenager would have just blown it all. But Jeez. instead, LeBron decided to hire oh his gosh. best friend, Maverick Carter, oh as a business gosh, partner bro. for 50K a year. This was genius, because Maverick went on to close all kinds of big money deals for LeBron, turning a 1% stake in Beats into 30 million, creating LeBron's Spring Hill Company, an entertainment brand worth 725 mil. And in 2015, Maverick negotiated the biggest contract in NBA history, a lifetime deal with Nike worth a ridiculous $1 billion. God damn, this man LeBron hired a financial wizard. So inspirational. But not everyone's as fortunate as LeBron. Cause what Trey Young bought with his well, first go check, deal. got his ass clowned in front of his entire team. See, in 2018, just a month after being drafted, Trey used 166,000 of his first check to cop his dream car, a brand new 2019 Audi R8. Ugh, you went to the Audi, bro? Can I, can I judge you on that? Hello. It's here. And this thing is crazy. 600 horsepower. I'm not an Audi fan, y'all. black paint. Zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Leave that below the comments. Oh, no. I, 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 I played it kind of like a... Until a few weeks later. Kind of... Uh, during team Kind of like a Porsche, you know? His teammates secretly stole his car and trashed it. <laughs> I guess the rookies got popcorn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, that's crazy. Not Jeremy Lane. Trey. Trey. Trey might be smiling, though. but I know his ass is crying on the inside. And according to this fan, his R8 still smells like popcorn. Damn. But at least Trey had a car. 
because how Giannis spent his first check literally put him on the streets. Yeah. In 2013, when Giannis signed his rookie deal, he wanted to give back to his family. So right before a game in Milwaukee, he took a taxi cab to a local bank, and that's where he wired all of his money back home to Greece. Every last dollar. Dang. And you know, that's nice and all, but there was one problem. This man has no car, no money for a cab, and he has a game in 30 minutes. So, a boy started pulling ass. This six foot nine famous NBA player was sprinting down the streets of Milwaukee to try and make it to his own game. And still dropped 35, 11, and nine. <laughs> after this, but it turns out he didn't have to run very far. Because after just a mile, Giannis caught the attention of one generous Bucks fan. First call day of the season. We're out shopping and I see, a, like two blocks away, I see a very tall person. Yeah, go on and say it. Tall, tall, tall type person, huh? What description? Tall, blackish person? Funny. Play, and I think, looks like might be Giannis. He is running and he's wearing jeans and a windbreaker and it is 18 degrees out. And I say, can we offer him a ride? He says, That's sure. Up, he man. climbs into the backseat of our car and we have a really little car. We have a Honda Fit, right? Yeah. So he's, and he's sitting in the back seat, all like folded. Sideways, knees to chin. I mean, it's the only way he could have. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Giannis's pretzel-looking ass didn't have a dollar to his name, and neither did Shaq, because this man spent his entire first check, one million dollars, in just 30 minutes. How is that even possible? Well, in 1992, before even making it to the NBA, Shaq signed a trading card deal with Classic for a million dollars. And the very next day, he went on the craziest shopping spree of his life. I always tell people this story. I spent a million dollars in 30 minutes. I always wanted a black on black Mercedes Benz. Uh -huh. So I go get it. Boom. That thing is ugly though, but uh, back then it probably looked good, yeah. My father said, that's nice, where's mine at? I was like, you know what, you're right. Go get the exact same car for him. We get home, my mom's a little jealous. Where's mine at? You know what, so we go. What? All the Benz version. So we got three Benzes. And, and then after that, after I drop them off, I was like, I need some jewelry. So I, I buy a big old diamond ring similar to this one. I get it. You could have got mine tonight. You know, it would have been one tenth. You know, it would have hit harder. Impact the diamond test. Another ring for the other hand. I get a bracelet. I get some diamond earrings. I get a necklace. And I get a call the next day from the uh, bank manager. And he says, uh, I need to have a conversation with you. So I come up there and shows me the spreadsheet of where all the money went. I forgot about the agent fees. I, I forgot about FICA. I forgot. About oh, money, man. Oh, money, man. Y'all, uh, y'all. Oh, my mouse broke. Come on. I need to spend a check on this. Hey, y'all make sure you like the video, man, so I can pay more bills, man. I get a new mouse, man. I think way out here, Shaq. About state tax and sales. Tax. Cool! Oh, you dreading, boy! I thought I had one million dollars. Yeah, this dude forgot about taxes. Man, Shaq's yeah. got to regret that one. But I can't say the same for John Morant because he spent his first check on his parents, and it changed their lives forever. See, it's a party in the city, yeah. I was just a kid. <laughs> his parents knew he was special so much so that not only did his mom give up her biology career. But his dad walked away from pro basketball, just a trainer, thinking That's that up, one day, Jock could become one of the greatest players in NBA history. And as Jock got older, his parents pushed him every single day, from backyard NBA drills to having him play kids twice his age. That's Hell, what's up, bro. They even put a basketball hoop in the living room, all to help him make it to the NBA. By 2019, and after signing a $39 million rookie deal, Ja figured what better way to blow his first check than by showing his parents some love. Not only copping them both brand new whips, a Hellcat for his dad and an Audi for his mom, but also buying them their dream home, a 9,000 square foot mansion in Tennessee worth $2.1 million. This place has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's got a backyard pool, a home theater. Hell, it's even got a tennis court. All of this just to show his parents how much he appreciates them. 
Damn, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> but what's not beautiful is Shaq's that's, that's diet. Yeah, this man ate so bad, it almost See, killed him. The media don't, 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 don't never cover it. You know the good thing about John Murray, man, you know? But, uh, I mean, going around throwing gang, 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 reciting, it's a party in my city, yeah, you know, you, you know, you, you go rub some people the wrong way, you know, just what it is, dog, my people, you know. And don't even get me started on Zion. His ass is getting so fat, he's going to eat himself out of the league. Oh, huh. you want to hear more about that? The cut the <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. We out of here. Everybody, man, like the video, subscribe.